Welcome back to Sashimi's house. I'm your loving host, Master Sashimi, joined today by my sweet sibling, Ice Ice Bobby. Hello. And my sweeter puppy son, Mr. President, aka Theodore Roosevelt, aka Teddy. And we're back with some more Horizon Forbidden West. Uh, last time, we came to our base and found it, you know, full, of, full of life, full of companions. This is exciting. Yeah. Is Talana... What is, tribe is she? Or tribe? Harja. Fashionable on me, Harja. But... Mm -hmm. So but us and Varl are Nora. Talana's Karja. Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know. Aaron is Osaram. Zoe is Utaru, yeah, and then now we've got Katalo from Tanakh. Really yeah. How you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sundom, and now I do, sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful. You know. It takes some time, but yeah. That's fair. We've been training with this thing all our lives. This yeah. is the equivalent of like like a zoomer traveling back in time to like the twenties and being like, Jesus, yeah. you guys are way out of the loop. Mm-hmm. I got this fucking iPod. And they're like, or iPad oh, what? even. Even an iPod is now out of date. I like know. I guess you know what we're up against by now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. Yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing impossible things, thanks to you. I just wish they weren't always trying to kill us. That That's yeah. a really good Here point. Go. <laughs> yeah, hard agree. You should know. Silence is involved with the Sons of Prometheus. He's the one who gave them the override tech to begin with. Why doesn't that surprise me? That's probably all part of some master plan, huh? At least we know we're good at wrecking those. Damn straight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna fuck him up. Let me know if you find any sons of Prometheus in the Daunt. I'll keep scouting those rebel camps. That seems like a really far trek that he's it going is. on. Because we we have no idea where the Daunt is. It's a little loud, Aaron. I know. It makes you want to punch something. More like someone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you the one that wow, this place is starting to come alive. Yeah, and Gaia placed all the data she got from your focus into that archive room with the focuses you gave us we'll be able to access it at our own pace you know learn and train and if you need us we'll be there to fight at your side got it thanks Paul. And how you liking zo i'm guessing you've spoken with katalo i wanted to pay my respects for those who fell when we were ambushed at the embassy I told him i'd never seen anyone throw themselves at a machine like he did he said a warrior shouldn't be praised for fulfilling their duty. For a second, I thought I was talking to my mother. <laughs> I never thought a Tanakh and a Nora warchief could have so much in common. I'm guessing Talana didn't stay for long. You got that right. Makes you wonder what this Amadis guy did to grab her attention. Whatever it was, she didn't tell me. Must be quite a story. I guess she'll tell us when she's ready. God, that just sounds like typical friend that drama. Like, ugh, her again. Focus. And we all have our difficult moments. Errant definitely curses the most. But I'm hoping Osiram's stubbornness prevails. God, the idea of somebody cursing in this game and it not happening on screen is infuriating. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Just taking it all in. No one snapped their bowstrings yet. <laughs> Fair. How's uh, training with Zoe? <laughs> you know we really are training. Mostly. Mostly. Look, she reads glyphs faster than I can already. I'd be a fool to refuse her help. Of course. Also be a fool to refuse her makeouts. I mean. You guys reading something over there? We just finished going through all the logs you collected back in Nora territory. And All Mother Mountain. It's hard to imagine that my ancestors were trapped inside. Without the knowledge from Apollo to guide them. Thanks to Ted Farrow. Yeah. I wonder how it must have felt when they were finally free. The world must have seemed so beautiful. Yeah. Not to mention terrifying. They weren't much more than kids. And they became an entire tribe. Looks That's actually like wrong. a nice little bit of background on the Nora. Their ship didn't yeah. explode on its way to Sirius like everyone thought. And we saw how they lied about creating a better future at their launch facility. Guess they lied about what happened to their ship too. But still. A tribe settling amongst the stars. I couldn't put a single dent in their shields, Varl. That one zenith almost killed me. 
That didn't stop you from resurrecting Gaia. Won't stop us from using Hephaestus against them. Let's hope that's enough. Think you can hold the fort while I'm gone? If Aaron stops listening to the same music over and over again, oh god, I need to listen to maybe. rock music now. God, we'll please, <gasps> somebody get this man some new metal. Aaron, Aaron Nickelback, you gotta listen Aaron, to Nickelback. You have to hear animals. Linkin Park. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Please. How does it always come back to us talking about Lincoln Park? It has to. Happy about his training partner. Learning is best done together. You guys don't have to cover it up. You're two adults. It's fine. Learn that prostate. It's is. fine. Tanakhs don't have much use for us outsiders. You must have made quite the impression for him to offer his fealty. You've been getting to know Aaron, I assume? Of course. Any friend of Varl's is a friend of mine. In this case, a very loud friend. <laughs> <laughs> the loudest third wheel on planet Earth. Earth. Gaia did say this place was built for us. So we could regain control of our lands with her terraforming system. I do love the candles and the plants. Like, them, like yeah. Very beautiful. Good job, Zoe. It does strike me as odd that a place of life should have so much metal there some mm, house plants would fair. be dope yeah i shall return to our training then let's go check on Catalo. <laughs> yeah yeah make sure that the man's is okay Aloy. oh we've gathered some supplies in that chest take what you need thank you guys cool dope wow. 330 shards That's this incredible. is basically a collective now Uh, Looks like someone's made this space their own. Katala, did you? Which one did you pick to be your bedroom? Oh. oh. Gotcha. Oh, that's a door. That's precious, though. I'm glad. Mm, only one bed, huh? Y'all are y'all are living in sin. Mm. <laughs> God, you can tell she's already decorated it like Utaru style. Yeah. Oh, he is, He already has one, so he is changed. learning. Indeed. Is that your doing, Gaia? Much of our yes. War remains the same. I have repurposed the displays to track the cauldrons you have acquired data from. Oh. Wait, no. Guess I must be up there. Aloy. It's good to see you. I'm guessing you've got a lot of questions. I've been told of our enemy and their intentions. Your friends showed me to the vision you keep in this place. Oh God, yeah, that's a whole Gaia other religion, yeah, basically, for him. I don't pretend to fully understand everything, but all I really need to know is where to train and when to fight. That's fair. Welcome to the team, then. Oh, you. You said the bulwark was your home a long time ago. That you were part of the Sky Clan. Yes. That's all you're gonna tell me? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, not a lot there, huh? Fine. As you wish. My parents were killed in a clan skirmish, so I was raised by my squad. As I grew older, I came to be known as an accomplished fighter. Takote took a special interest in me. I fought by his side against the Karja. And led my squad on a dangerous climb into the daunt. It was I who opened the gates at Baron Light from the east side, allowing the Tanakh to raise it. That must have gotten you some attention. Yeah. Indeed. I was welcomed home as a hero, and I was content. Then why'd you leave? I became a marshal. Why did you leave the Sky Clan to become a marshal? I was sent to the cool root by Takote. Back then, I would have obeyed his every order. I believed in him, like one would a father. I was too blind to see the fear in his eyes. Fear of a rising young warrior challenging his command of the clan. Oh. I returned a hero from the battle at Baron Light. But to him, uh -oh. I was only a threat. Never occurred to him that I had no interest <coughs> in his Oop, Theodore. Should we be right back? Yeah. Well, yeah. Be right back, folks. Be right back. <laughs> Gonna take a moment to put Teddy downstairs. Yeah.
And we're back. Sorry about that, folks. Why did Takote think you wouldn't be a threat to him if he sent you to the Cool Root? Takote knew that if I survived the Cool Root, I'd be forced to forsake the clan to serve the Tanakh as a whole. I'd never be allowed to challenge his command, even if I wanted to. After our victory at Baron Light, Takote spoke to our people, said it would be selfish to rob Hikaru and the marshals of a warrior like myself. I mean, I know he wasn't being sincere, but that is actually well, true. I had no 100%. intention of ever leaving. It was exile, guised as an honor. One he knew I couldn't refuse. So that is a I bummer. A marshal and never looked back. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I am not. Though it pained me at the time, a marshal is what I was destined to be. Oh yeah, brother. Yeah. You would have been held back staying at the, at the bulwark. That's true. The guard said something about the wings of the ten. Hikaru also mentioned it at the cool route. Deca too. What does it mean? The visions tell us that the ten flew on great metal machines with wings. Yeah, planes. Mm-hmm. They were an air force. To from the sky. For us, to imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess. And it is why the challengers leap into the arena during the cool route. Many times I imagined it as a child. The feeling of freedom. And the awe it must have inspired. What did Chief Akaro say when you told him he'd be joining me here? You spilt rebel blood at the grove and helped reunite the clans. There was little more to be said. He understood. That's fair. He's a very well, understanding leader. I'm honored. He All things considered. Marshal, at least for a little while. Indeed. Oh. What are you looking at over there? The others have been helping me decipher the symbols the focus shows me. So mm, I have been looking I at. I tried to understand the metal. weapon you intend to use against the enemy. <laughs> this Hephaestus. It will be able to make machines? That answer to Gaia? Yes. How many? As many as we need. Such power. Yeah, I had a feeling he As would the be the one the kind line. of like most impressed. Most impressed and into like yeah, Hephaestus as a concept. The enemy is. Do you have any questions? I'll admit I find them hard to grasp. From the heavens. And invulnerable. For now. I will leave the strategy to you. I trust you will point my blade where it will cut the deepest. Oh, oh that's love such a that raw break. line. That gave me chills. You've had some time with the team now. Any thoughts? I admit I was surprised to see Nutaru here. Farmers don't make for effective soldiers. I'm told she rallied some in her tribe against the Karja and fought all the way to Baron Light. Interesting. Perhaps I'm mistaken. Mm hmm Yeah, this go. fort is like that strategy to check in on Hikaru <laughs> when our mom was a kid. I will. Um, one of our cousins Maybe is actually ten, really close in age you. to our mom because our mom is the youngest of six siblings. Mm -hmm. And when they would fight, they would get tied belly to belly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this this base kind of feels like I know you're all from separate tribes, but uh, too bad. Get tied belly to belly and figure it out. Right. You're gonna make it work, or you're else gonna, you're gonna make it work, or you're just stuck belly to belly. Yeah, I thought you said the data here was lost. I was able to repurpose the equipment to store this the little data boy is terrible. Yeah. Travels. Um. The hell is this? It's a shuttle, like the one I blew up at Farzina's launch facility. Oh. Farrell seemed pretty interested in space travel. I guess he wanted a keepsake. Oh yeah, I didn't finish my hoodoo story. So anyway, two friends were pretty pre-gamed. Other two were fine. We were like, hey, we should probably do food. And it seemed at first like we were just gonna get food delivered to us. So they were trying to figure out wing places and like, I've had them eat from a wing place that's like 10 minutes from our house twice. So they were like, oh, let's do that. And I was like, I don't think they will. Like they already don't deliver. Oh, and they decorated for us. That's very nice actually. God, has Homegirl just been weaving rugs? 
that seems like it would take an inordinate amount of time. You'd think- Like, honestly, good for her. Yeah, number one, you think it takes her long? Absolutely not. She's a master. Number two, you don't think she'd be multitasking? She's got a podcast going on. Oh, no, I'm not saying that's all she's doing. Because she's fully, like, the one who's most educated out of everybody here besides Aloy. I'm saying I'm impressed is what I'm it saying. I'm not impressive. I'm not complaining. I'm just like holy shit cuz there's rugs in like all look at that 1 2 they're 3 also not 4. They're identical and they're intricate and beautiful. Yeah, exactly. There there's four in here. There's like one at, oh shit and there's a fifth five. one. There's five. There's, there's one also, in in their room like it's it's a feat. There's more than one in their room. There was also like two or three there I think. My old spear. Rust helped me make it. Oh. And I finished my training. Oh. Feels like so long ago now. When Varl found me after the Hades Proving Lab, I thought I saw Rost. I don't think he'd understand any. That's true. Place. Ross was very much like, no, absolutely, we must shun the the still. rise of new technology. We must follow the old ways, type she guy. Been carrying Elizabeth's pendant with me for months. One second, I'm gonna Since grab the boy because well, our mom. I just felt the baby. garage open and I'm like, oh, I wonder why. Uh, mom just let me know that she's Elizabeth out to buy breakfast. So she's like, hey, the boy is crying at the stairs. So one moment, please. Gaia put all of her faith in me. I'll keep it going because this is this should be a quick. Recover the subfunctions, defeat the Zenith. Heal the world. Here's my sweet boy. The sweetness. God, Teddy, <laughs> that was the worst place for you to sit. Uh, love him. He is a precious is baby. Passage that Bashav gave me hey, that's embassy. a good boy. I liked him. He seemed like a good man. It's honestly a real crying shame that Bashav was killed. It is a shame. Regala's attack at the embassy. The marshals ambushed and surrounded killed one by one reminds me of the massacre at the proving back in the sacred lands so many lives wasted and for what yeah <laughs> oh little guy bed dig it i dig it i, I like love it room. it's so it's really cute i'm into it This room? Is this just an exit? I think so. Maybe? Oh no! Damn girl, more rugs? Hell yeah! Honestly though, like... He's really making it a home. I know, I really appreciate it. Oh, that, that is an exit. Oh, whoops. Oopsie doop. Oopsie doopsie. Oof. Slid right into the grossness. God, I, I love what our base is becoming. I know, That's me too. Downstairs. Like, uh, own Elevator shaft. Yeah. Very, uh, I think this is another exit. Like my uncle Laurent. Box your ears if you mess with this forge. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I think this is the outside world. Yeah, box oh. you up. But anyway, after a while, people were like, oh, I don't know about getting wings delivered, whatever, I'm not sure. And one of them was like, ooh, we should get wings from Hooters. And I was like, what? And they were like, fuck it. Like, one of them was like, yeah, I mean, you guys, we could just do like, order it, go pick them up, take out. And then one person, person finally piped up and he was like, I actually kind of want to just sit there. It's like, okay, so you want to look at titties. That's what you're telling me. Got it. So we went. We ended up going to Hooters. Also, I for the first time in several years rode in the um, in the bed of a truck. Oh wow! Yeah, because um, one person there had a truck, and so we were like, okay, I guess we'll have to take two cars because there's eight of us. And then somebody else was like, or this guy can just take us in the truck. And so it's like, well, he's not drank a lot. He's like, we were like, are you cool with driving everybody? And he was like, yeah, yeah I don't care. So. You know, him and his girlfriend loaded up in the front. Jonathan was like, there's not enough room in the truck bed. Also, I'm good. And then rode in the front. And then myself and four others rode in the back. 
Nice. And at first I was a little like, oh, this is kind of scary, especially because on the way to Hooters, we heard a police siren go off right behind us. We were like, oh shit, are you fucking kidding me? Because we were kind of like iffy, like, is this legal or not? Which it, it is. It's just like, it's not something you see a lot, weirdly enough. I thought it wasn't legal. It It, it is if you are under 15. Under 15, you can't. And in South Carolina specifically. Over 15. You said under. Under in that it is not legal. Wait, before you set her off, should we next time? Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Next time at Tsushima's house, we're going to uh, finish that story and talk to... Uh, well, we're going to put Aether in here. Yeah. Later. Bye. You gotta know you're in for something special. You gotta feel it in your bones. Oh, you're gonna find what you need all the time. If you're looking for it, na 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 na. If you're looking for it.